Welcome to the Gamer Lounge. What up? Hey guys, I'm about to go embark on a journey. Uh, actually, go play Walking Dead, episode one. Let's just see how this uh, turns out to to be. I've had this game on the on my list for a while. I've actually turned my back on it since my my buddies Jose and uh, Irish told me to uh, to get it. I was just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not really into those type of games, but. Uh, Ever since the VGAs came out and they elected this game, best game of the year, I'm like, alright. Or game of the year, not best game of the year, but game of the year. Alright. It was just perfect timing. The friggin' disc came out, I'm like, alright. Gotta go try it. So, here I am now. This is for them. <coughs> I mean, I used to play these type of games on the PC, where you, like, pick like what you're gonna do it's like story based or it's like a movie but I never really got a chance to uh, play it on Xbox I kept playing action -y games but uh, let's see okay so here we go let's start it uh, standard I guess yeah I guess yes I do want hints because I have no idea what I'm doing Episode 1, A New Day. <coughs> nice little dark, b dirty background that The Walking Dead always seems to have. It's tailored by how you play. That's cool. Looks just like uh, the show. We down in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Silence well, here. I reckon you didn't do it then. Okay. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. <laughs> and what do you say? And what do you say? Bitch. I say, yep, I know you didn't. Oh. Didn't see nothing. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Making boy. You're from Macon then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the seventies. Always wanted to work a murder case. Macon. Like that senatorial mess like you got bacon. yourself mixed up in. With all due respect, a real shame that is. What the fuck? Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Hmm. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet oh, your wife in Athens? You want to uh -oh. know how I see it? I got much of a choice? I got much choice? Sure don't. Some bitch. <laughs> you stupid some bitch. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh oh. Could be I did. <sighs> All 
right. The hell is that about? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying mm -hmm. and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and uh -huh. having exhausted all his options, he starts yeah. crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? So did he do it? Was he a bitch? They caught the fucker <laughs> red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting oh, her up as the boys God. came through the door. He sits in my car screaming uh, bloody murder that it wasn't him. Uh, I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Mm-hmm. I got another good one for you. This oh, one's a little bit less depressing what, and a bit what, more hilarious if I do What's that shit? So. In the room! <laughs> oh! Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa! Look at his body! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Oh no! Uh-oh. Use white stick loop. Oh. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Hey! Oh, sir! Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> he wasn't ejected from the car. Uh-oh. He wasn't ejected from the car. The fuck? Oh. Well, that's the same shit. He's not moving. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Okay. The fuck? Oh. Uh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get out. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to... Drag myself out that window. Okay, let's go. Come on. There you go. Ooh. Come on. Uh oh. You just left to move along the car. There's a gun. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. Yeah. Give me that gun. That's right. Looks empty. Well, don't It'll don't be drop easy to it. Carry with these cuffs off. Oh come on. Oh come on. <laughs> the officer's shotgun is over there. Oh, what's that? What's that? There's a shotgun shell. Alright. You son bitch. Officer? Hello? God damn. Officer? <laughs> oh. 
take the keys. The hell? There you go. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> Get that shit. There you go. He gonna get up, ain't he? Well, I gotta look at everything. There you go. Kick the fucker. Officer. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. Go, go. What in the hell? What the Stop shit? <laughs> get the gun. What the fuck? Get the get shit. Get the, get the gun. Get it! Get it! Get the fucking gun! Yeah! Oh! Get that shit! Come on! What the Reload! That's what I'm talking about. Don't make me do this! Mmm! Whoa! Why well, you act like he never done that before? He's done that before. <laughs> Skin's all rotten. He smells like shit. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Get up, man. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Is he serious? I shot him in the head and I asked him, Are you dead? Yeah, he's fucking dead. Oh. Help! Go get someone! Hey, there's someone back. There's been a shooting! He just walks away. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, great. Come on! Oh! <laughs> Go, go, go. Go, bitch. Oh, my God. Go. He's falling. What the hell? Get up. Get up. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Get up, man. Just made it. Uh-oh. That's right. Walk away. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nope. Hello? Anybody? Alright. Look like we're in some type of neighborhood. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. What's over here? Help! What the hell? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon I'd if I could. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I had. Look back over here. Oh. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Somebody! <laughs> yell if you can hear me! Holla! Holla Anybody back! Up there? Damn. What the hell 
ourselves over here. Oh, what's this? Maybe I'll just go for a dip. It's around here. Sorry, nothing. Is there anybody here? Can I borrow some brown sugar? What the hell? I wonder if anybody's home. What was that shit? There you Hello? go. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Open that shit. There you go. Huh. There you go. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Great. These people might need more help than I do. Shit is dark. A unicorn. Great. Fucking unicorn. Hey, what the hell's that? Bowl of fruit. What the hell? Jeez. Oh, Jeez. Oh. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. You're dead. Daddy? Huh? What the fuck? Don't mind if I do. What the hell is that? What's that? Ooh, a radio. Hello? You need to be quiet. Why? Why? Fuck's the problem. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. Hell no. <laughs> not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Uh-oh. Oh! It's gotta be Sandra. Yeah! Yeah! Mmm. Skank. 
I, oh my god. <laughs> Clumsy. What the hell? What the hell? Oh yeah. Oh, what the freak? Oh. <laughs> yeah, another? Huh? Oh, don't bite me! Give me, give me, give me, give me the hammer, give me the hammer, give me, give me. <laughs> oh. Ew. Oh my god. Man. Hi there. Jeez. Did you kill it? Yes. yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look. Hate to break it to you. Her, but I'll look at I don't think they me. made it out. <laughs> what should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Later. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, oops. Come on now. Go, go, go. What the hell? Where am I going? Go. Come on now. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. We this gotta be sucks. brothers. Oh, it's hot dish night. <sighs> yeah. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? No. I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? No, I ain't they coming home. <laughs> They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. Downtown Atlanta? Oh, Sean. Sean Green. Hey, Sean Green. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um, I could be. <laughs> a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Let's go. Come on. The monster's coming. He gotta go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. 
Come on now. Come on. Push the car. Push. Push. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright. What are any of those guys? Neighbors too? Go, go. Good stuff. I like it. I like it. Oh, in your charge. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Is this Herschel's farm? Nearby Herschel's farm. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Huh. All right. Thank God you're okay. Oh, his father's I was a worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy is a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Check up on your sister? She got bit? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Oh no. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. Oh, that is Herschel. It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. It is Herschel. How'd this happen? I don't remember. I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. Hmm. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? The Plenty. kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious some shit going on. Fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Some shit. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. That's we right. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. 
Thanks, Doc. If it gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> so okay. bitch. That'd be preferable. Try to There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit! Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> that was a swear. Oh, shit. Sorry. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Savannah's pretty damn far. That's up north. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some shit must have happened. Some shit must have happened. Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Oh, I didn't answer. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Yeah, I do. Hey there, girls. How did, How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Mm-hmm. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be... Providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is... refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. What do so, you do? Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? Mm. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, Fort except Lauderdale. more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't mm. stay like this.
No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. That's right. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. For sure. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. All right, Clementine, you first grader. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Katja. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. What's he doing? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. That's right. Let's see what's around this uh, farm area here. I'm not gonna go just yet. Go around here. Oh, okay. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. All right. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. Damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes be killed, kill, or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Alright. Just gonna make sure. Seems like an all right dude. Seems like those two are getting along. Yeah. It's over here. All right. Walking around the farm. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing in here. Is that it? Is that all I could do? You know how to drive it? 
Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Huh. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right. Sean's still working on that fence. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll yeah. lock this place up good. I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Mm -hmm. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. All right. Oh, there's Herschel. I'm gonna talk to her again. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Mm. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I'm looking for help in the house. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Mm-hmm. That's right. Hmm. Uh-oh. Can I give you a piece of advice? Um... Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. 
Oh no. Oh no. He's dead. He's that turn, that's for sure. It's Kay's. Oh shit. Get the fuck out of here! Whoa. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Whoa. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Oh, that... Looks to me it was your son's fault, faggot. You shouldn't have let that kid go in the tractor in the first place. That's what I think. Bitch. Come on, Clementine. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. That's what I think. It's Herschel's fault. Herschel's son's. It's Kenny's fault. For even leave, leaving that kid on the tractor. Let him run over his leg. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Mm, geez. Look! Hey there! You friendly? A zombie. Trucks run out of gas. Yeah, not like that. Oh, Fuck! Ah, oh, shit. Come on now. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. Oh, it's close. Very, very close. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. 
Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't, wasn't bitten, motherfucker. We have to end this now. The fuck? For my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've get already seen this happen. Face. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end He's up not bitten. Shut up. We gotta bit. throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody's Jesus. doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And Whoa. you, shut the fuck up. They Whoa. will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. Whoa. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. We're not. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! He's That's not how you turn! Bitten. He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down! That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy! Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his what nose the broken. Fuck? I'm gonna That's kill a him, piece of shit. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh man. Oh Jesus. Jesus! Oh no. Going, it was stuck. You okay? Just great, thanks. Oh, no. Guys, no. Stay quiet. Here they come. They're gonna get in. Shut up. God. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Yeah. Piece of shit. You got a heart attack. I. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. Bitch. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What Hell do you know. suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. That's right. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. 
There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. All right. Now get him those pills. That son of a bitch. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What the hell is that mean? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Hmm. What are you working what are you messing on? around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. No battery. batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Right. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Yeah. Damn. This is a, a long-ass game. Very interactive, like a shell. Let's see what they got here. I can barely see that. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We 